it is uh, my singular honor to do this handing over to the next uh, head of department of our chemistry in the person of uh, Professor Oyerunke uh, Odonla, who actually assumed office on the 1st of August 2020 as a new head of department of uh, our chemistry. Uh, well, this uh, contains uh, some of the documents uh, uh, for the office and uh, for the Department of uh, Chemistry and uh, this is uh, the official key to the office of the head of department and uh, I'm handing this over to you and I'm commending you to the grace of God that uh, God will go with you mm -hmm. and God will help you to do this work well mm -hmm. without the stress and the God will shower his uh, mercy over you and give you support from above that at the end of the day you have a recordable testimony of his goodness, of his mercies and of his advancement in Jesus precious name. Amen. Amen. Um, my uh, HOD <laughs> Emeritus <laughs> Uh, I must say that uh, I'm so grateful to you and also for Pres to Professor Lon uh, He just retired from the department for the love and uh, for the support over the years. We thank God for our department. We give glory to his name for keeping us standing up till now. You have uh, been able to keep the department and to keep the legacies. And uh, it is my prayer that uh, God will continue to lift you up and uh, the grace to continue to excel. We welcome the HOD yes. in the office of the earth. Of the earth. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, are you not finished? Uh, we give thanks uh, to God again uh, for the end of a particular era and the beginning of another one. Uh, as I said before, this is a biochemistry department, and uh, from 1st of August 2020. Uh, we have a new head of department in the person of uh, Professor Oyerunke Odwala and uh, we want to wish uh, the new head of department uh, the very best, a very successful tenure and uh, again I want to use this opportunity uh, for every one of us uh, to support her as uh, you have uh, supported me so that uh, we will be able to take uh, this uh, place to a higher level. But chemistry department that belongs to every one of us and it is important that uh, we all do all that is important to ensure that they will move the department uh, forward. I will take out the new students. Congratulations. <laughs> In the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sanctify this chair Amen. in the name of the Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. This is one department where we have been born. We are operated as a family. So we are still operating as a family. Professor Harunji is there. Odola is there. It's just one. Prof is retired, but we can see that it's not tight. <laughs> so Prof is there. So I also want to appreciate every one of us for the support given to Prof. When I was um, acting head of department, 2010-2012, I had uh, my vision and mission statements and uh, basically to maintain uh, peace and um, harmony in the department as you had the just retired uh, 
father of the department mentioned a few minutes ago. Well, chemistry department used to be a turbulent department pre my becoming acting head of department. So my major concern then was to make sure there's, there was peace and there is peace. And um, I thank God that uh, we were able to maintain peace and harmony within the department th that time. And that is still in, it's, it's still uh, as uh, it was then. So I uh, still hope to continue to maintain peace in the department, to raise the bars higher, to make us globally more recognized department of biochemistry, to flag our researchers higher, to equip our early career researchers and some of our mid-career researchers so that they can compete very well. Actually glad and happy that uh, the person that is uh, taking over you know, the leadership of a department uh, in the person of uh, Professor Yeru Nkeodwala is the one. Uh, I have a lot of uh, regard for her in terms of her capacity to actually do well. Because uh, I will say that uh, maybe myself uh, and herself, uh, we, we are the most uh, senior in the department uh, as it is today. And I can say that uh, is uh, just the two of us that learned uh, directly from the very old uh, people, the founders of uh, this uh, department. We've been here for over 30 years, so we're able to work with uh, virtually all the past heads of departments. So we understand uh, the tradition of uh, this place, we understand the culture of this place, we understand uh, the practices of this place, and how it used to be in terms of uh, you know doing correct uh, service and doing the right thing at the level of a department. So I'm actually glad that uh, she's also taking over. So she'll be able to continue from where I have stopped and be able to actually move the department uh, to higher level. It is important that uh, it's good that she's taking over. That will make her to actually stabilize the department and entrench uh, certain values, certain values uh, and uh, certain uh, 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 innuendos and uh, things uh, that we have inherited uh, from our founding fathers and uh, the other ones that are coming will be able to actually uh, build on that, uh, follow that and be able to make uh, a progress. So I advise her to actually also show leadership. She has also been a head of department uh, before, so this place is not uh, new at uh, the office. It's not uh, completely strange you know uh, to her or new she understands uh, what and what to do and uh, i believe that uh, with the support uh, of every one of us at the level of the department uh, we cooperate uh, with her to ensure that we are able to move the department uh, forward you know from where it is now uh, i taught both of them at the undergraduate level i first taught Otomala. they all graduated in 84 bsc and Farah Mika Rector in 87 uh, BSc. So they were both my students at the beginning. And um, as they grew up and continued to, to, to research and became and took the positions of Western lecturer and then positions of uh, uh, became professors, they became uh, heads of department, uh, Farah became dean. Farah became a requirement one time, and this is, this is a second coming and the fourth time she became she was head she did she did well excellent and i'm not i do not have, have any doubt now that as a woman today for another two years you take the department to another level a greater level by the grace of god uh, professor Dunla, uh, my contact with her started while i was an undergraduate student in this department you know as a student you look up to her like um, very elegant uh, lecturer, 
well dressed that many ladies will like her. I want to be dressing like her when I want to uh, uh, when I when I grow up but to me I came across her in different perspective uh, my I got in touch with her personally at 400 level while I was like the assistant class rep you know she used to come to our class to teach us about chemistry then and we have been primed before then that whatever she teaches is always very hard I can't really uh, advise her because she's my senior colleague in terms of giving what she should do or what she should not do but what I know that she will do best is that she will carry all of us along like our sons and daughters I'm talking for a very number of us that are still junior uh, in the profession, in the academics like she had done and she is doing I've known uh, Professor Oyerunka Odola, who is currently the head of department of biochemistry department since my admission to University of Ibadan in 1997. She has been a mother to me and I want to specifically say that she has been uh, a role model to me. Advice for her is that uh, as a leader she should embrace, which I know she's a, she's a man, I mean, she's a woman of peace, that she has a peace and try to help the upcoming uh, uh, colleagues. Professor Dola, she's a role model to her, especially with women folk. You, you know, just seeing her from afar in the academic world gives a kind of confidence that everything is achievable ah she is our mother you know she's our mental role model she is even in the place to advise us what to do actually so i'm limited in in advice like what can i say to someone that i see as a mother what can i what, what kind of advice can someone like me give to someone that we are looking up to as role model as mother to her that is, no, 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 she cannot fall short in any way. I can categorically say that. Professor Aaron Keldola, she's a mother figure. She's a wonderful person, especially a smile. Anytime you greet her, she always welcomes you with smiles. She's a very cool woman. I, most of the time I see myself in her because when I see a woman that has attained the height she has in academics, I'm always motiv motivated to do more to at, at least follow the first step. I pray God lifts her up, God makes her fruit fruitful, and God bless her indeed.